Hi, I'm Christy Franklin, season number one of Donald Trump's The Apprentice, and this is the man. He is the coach, the success blueprint. He is the magic motivator. He gets you on track with a success blueprint that's easy and it works. So check it out. Hello and welcome to Business Growth TV. I am the magic motivator, Jamal Keys. And for over 15 years, I've had the pleasure of helping small business owners grow their business with marketing strategies that ultimately banish their competition. Today, I want to talk to you about how to grab the attention of an audience if you're speaking. Before I go on with that, I want to say that I believe that every business owner should become some type of speaker if they want to grow their business. Because it's easier to grow your business when you know what to talk about when you talk about your business. We all talk about our businesses, especially if we're proud to be, be a business owner. We always talk about our businesses. So one way that you can position yourself as an expert in your field is to do some type of speaking. That's right, some type of speaking where you do a free clinic, a free seminar, a free whatever with your product and or service to help people out. Ultimately, that's what you want to do is help people out because you want to become a business owner otherwise. So the first thing you want to do is how uh, we want to talk about when we talk about grabbing the attention of any type of audience when you speak. The first thing you want to have is, is a story. Everyone wants a story. You want to tell your story. Tell your story of how you went from point A to point B to point C to point D. Everybody wants to know a story and everybody loves to hear stories. Matter of fact, the most popular book in the world, which is the Bible, is full of stories. So people really want to open up, and they open up a lot when they hear people talk and tell stories about how they went through whatever they went through to get to wherever they got to, because people can relate to it a lot easier. Number two, you want to you uh, tell people statistics. Give people statistics. People want facts. It's all about facts. People want to know facts about how you did what you did and what's really out there. They want to know statistics and facts of what's going on. Number three, you want to give them a bold claim. Give everyone a bold claim of what you can do and what you know you can do. Because when you do speak to a crowd and to an audience, people want to hear the bold claims. It, it gives them attention. It makes them say a, a, with everyone else that's talking, it makes them want to sit down and listen to what you have to say. So give them a bold claim. And then you want to use visual effects. Visual effects, we're, we're in a society now where, of course, we have phones that, that we walk around with all the time, and we want visual stuff. We like stuff that we can see, stuff that we can look at, colors and all this fun stuff. If it's video, if it's pictures, we want something that we can look at so that it helps us as far as relate to us because our memory works in the picture form. So we want something that we can look at. So you want to have that also, and you want to have some type of interaction with the audience. A lot of times, a lot of speakers go in front of a crowd and um, they don't really interact with the crowd. They sit there and they do a whole lecturing session and they don't ask the crowd, are you getting what I'm talking about? Um, are you learning something? Just something simple like that. Um, telling them to raise their hand. You want to interact with the crowd. So again, how to grab the uh, attention of any type of audience when you're speaking. Again, every business owner should Add speaking to growing their business. Every business owner, you want to add speaking to growing your business. Number one, you want to tell stories. Tell stories. Tell your story. If you don't have a story that you want to tell, tell a story. Tell a story. Number two, you want to use statistics. Use facts and statistics to back up what you talked about in your story. Number three, you want to have a bold claim. Have some type of bold claim letting them know what you know to be true. Not what you think to be true, but what you know to be true. Number four, you want to give some type of visual effects, some type of visual effects to add on to your stories and to your bold claims. Some type of visual effects. If it's a picture, if it's some type of video, you want to have some type of visual effect to add on to that. And number five, last but not least, you want to interact with the audience. Interact with the audience. For more great um, marketing tips to help you grow your business, visit www.themagicinyou.com.